So you expected a score? Uh, no and yes means I have done uh, the study that I want to expect uh, this much uh, score. Uh -huh. But at the time of the exam, I was having a high fever. So after exam, uh, my oh. confidence was completely lost. Means I didn't expect I can achieve 60 to 70 percent either. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you managed to, like, I mean, give the examination. Yes. Uh, so what happened was, uh, I I remember uh, before exam, before two or three days before exam, uh, you guys have uploaded one video, uh, uh, do's and don'ts of, of the exam. And I specifically remember in that last uh, last one, uh, last or second last point was uh, stay healthy. Uh, take care of yourself and exactly that thing happened to me <clears throat> uh -huh. i think at the time of exam there was a viral fever going around the city and uh -huh. uh, i was traveling from ratnagiri to mumbai right uh, from last uh, one or two days i was traveling and i think because of that i had a given i mm -hmm. had a viral fever mm -hmm. and because of that my means i was i planned everything means i i will go to the relatives and i i will do study for the couple of days and i will appear for exam but again the whole two days went to go to the doctor and everything it was it was a mess so again i i lost a con i lost so much of the confidence but again i have come this far uh, i will as give i will give exam to see what happens and i gave exam uh, but again i didn't expect this much score uh, Actually, okay. uh, after my exam, uh, I was so confident that I will get low score. I have <laughs> given another... Uh, so much confident about your uh, low score. Uh, uh, I, didn't, I didn't even understand what I was doing, right? Uh, what I was clicking on. I, I just went through it, went through the process. Uh, after the exam, I feel uh, I saw the uh, autonomous colleges and whichever, which colleges are uh, providing MCA colleges and I... NIMSET and MIT and I, uh, I fill all those uh, forms uh, mm -hmm. just to have a backup if uh, this exam didn't go well. Okay, so Nunal, uh, let's start the podcast. Uh, yes. Very first, uh, want to understand your introduction, your about yourself, and uh, how you started your preparation. When you, how you got to know about maneuver? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I started my preparation three or four months exam technically, but again, in the day I was giving five to six hours, not, or maybe four to five hours due to my work. So if you look at, uh, if you look at it, uh, I maybe have studied one or two months means uh, what we can say from start. Uh, I was from morning, I, I will be doing my work and in afternoon also work. And then in the evening, I can attend the lectures and everything. Okay, so first okay. of all, uh, my introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Santos Redis. Uh, I have done my 10th and 12th from CBC board. Uh, I have done my graduation from Mumbai University. My uh, field is BSc IT. Uh, currently, I am doing my work in IT field. I am proficient in Flutter technology, which is a cross-platform. I have done many of the IT projects. And all this leads to my, uh, you know, preference in MCA. I want to pursue MCA. I want to learn uh, more about the programming and coding, DSA and everything. So I wanted to do MCA. Actually, I gradu graduated in 2022. I was not sure whether I will do MBA or MCA. So I took a gap. I, I think I thought of myself that I will do job and then uh, figure out what I will do or what I can pursue. And in job, I really like the programming coding part. And uh, that's, uh, I, I prefer MCA now rather than MBA. Okay. And about the maneuver, it's actually funny, uh, funny story. <laughs> so first of all, I didn't, uh, uh, what we can say, enroll in maneuver. I, I believe it was a way other uh, coaching classes. I will not, uh, you know, declare name. Uh, so I got into it. Uh, I started, uh, you know, attending the lectures, but few weeks passed and they, uh, because of lack of faculty, they discontinued their uh, MCA courses. And uh, again, they refund me back my money. So the biggest challenge was what to do next, because while doing the work, uh, as well as uh, doing the sales study, it is not possible to score that much, uh, this much mark. And my goal was uh, VJTI or SPIT, a uh, few of the top colleges, uh, but not that. If not that, I will again reappear for uh, another reappear in another year. 
So I searched a bit again. You guys are popular in YouTube regarding MCA and stuff. So I called your number, but he talked me through the process. He uh, guided me all your what we can say lectures and uh, books, uh, exams, how it's going to happen, mock tests and everything. And I like the idea. At the moment, uh, the fees I I was expecting the fees was very high. But again, once I got into it, I, I quickly understand why, is, why it was necessary, all your shortcuts and everything. Again, as a self-study, I, I didn't know this much shortcuts for or tricks for solving the example. But after joining you, it, it was more easier to solve difficult problems. Uh, again, and it was less, uh, I was solving the problems in less time. So it was totally worth it. Second, uh, again, you guys are constantly means providing the strategies and uh, you know ways to work on uh, work on the study. But again, doing the work, I don't have what we can say time to follow their strategy. So what I have done was I quickly uh, followed your recorded videos because uh, they were short and easy to understand. I did not attend your live lectures at that time. I just quickly wrap up the recorded lectures and started doing mocks. And then when I get time or extra time, then I I, I will uh, I can see your uh, record recorded live lectures. So that was my strategy, uh, and that's it. Uh, by giving okay. after, uh, yes, sir. Very interesting journey. Yeah. How you have managed your job along with your MCS AT preparation, online preparation, then all the way you come from the job, then you sit for the practice study. Uh, so that is why you have made it, no? 98.85 percentile. And yeah. also uh, one more thing, you fall in OBC, right? Yes, I am a category. So, so most probably will get top five one. Okay. Yes. I, I think so. My preference is, of course, VJTI and SPIT. I prefer Mumbai, but if not that, I will go to the MIT go through, which I have already secured uh, my admission. Okay. I have cracked okay. their... Uh, uh, exam as well as interview and I have secured, I have booked my admission into it. But I, again, I want to try VJT or SPIT. Okay. Okay. And what about SPPU Pune? Uh, yes, sir. I, I am not hearing you properly. What about SPPU Pune? Uh, again, yeah, I want to go in Mumbai. Uh, if not Mumbai, then uh, MIT go through. That's, uh, I only want to go into that college uh, for Pune. Okay. Okay. But I would rather suggest SPPU also you can try. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, uh, I haven't uh, created a list of colleges. I still want to do placements and everything. I, I want yes, to do my own yes. research and then I will um, uh, create a list. Okay. Great. Great. So uh, in a day, how many are you used to study? I know you started a little late and some glitches happen in your preparation. Ideally, I always advise at least start one year prior your CET preparation that is the best time at least not one year nine months at least so that you have a plenty of time to do the mistakes and to improvise your mistakes uh, yes. so yeah how was your schedule like morning afternoon evening like you were work, you were working so when you were sitting with you and practicing the questions and all uh, actually I had a full year with me but again as I am not a uh, you know topper or a, a anything I am just an uh, you know I was a backbencher in college. So again, I, I am not fond of study. My half year was gone into procrastination. So yeah, I will do it later. I will do it later. I, I wouldn't, I have not set my goal on going into VGT and SPIT. So I would not recommend that uh, clearly. If I if I should would have started earlier, I would have, or I would have crossed 99 percentile. That's for sure. Because and so again, uh, you have to start it as early as possible. That's my what we can say advice. Uh, and after you started the admin, uh, what we can say study. Those who are uh, doing the work and uh, they study, uh, I would prefer you have to set this much amount of time. So in a day, you have to go sit this much hours for study. That's the only goal because uh, you know after. Uh, work you are quite exhausted you, you feel like oh, okay I, I will do it tomorrow but that shouldn't be the case if that is the thing uh, the gap will be much more so one day will be extend to two days and so on so I find this problem particular that whenever I was studying I was exhausted due to my work and everything so what I what I done was 
I Saturday and Sunday uh, I was having holiday, right? So mm -hmm. whatever was remaining or whatever I was intend to do, the whole Saturday Sunday my went through studying. I I do not think oh I have uh, studied six or seven hours. So what should I do? Means it, it's enough, right? I didn't think that whatever I can give uh, in Saturday and Sunday I I would uh, uh, go for study. And in this process, my family has helped me because, uh, again, uh, uh, my work as well as study, uh, not a lot of time uh, is spent with them, right? And uh, of course, the my home chores and everything. Um, I didn't do that for a couple of uh, months, uh, four to five months. And my, my, my family was very understanding. Uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, again, I have not set a particular uh, schedule, right? Whenever I get time, I will uh, go for study. That's the only goal. So uh, again, uh, some uh, people, uh, some students may prefer the set goal, uh, but I didn't. Whenever I uh, I get free time, I go for study. And in the day, I, I will have a minimum this much as that I would uh, give uh, to my MCA preparations. So, out of these four sections, Quant, Logic, English, and Computer, which section was the toughest section and how you have managed? Uh, okay, so Computer, uh, coming from CBC background, English was very easy. I am not fluent with English in speaking, you, you can see that. But <laughs> uh, when it comes to writing, uh, I am uh, I can get a good mark. So, I, am, I was not worried, worried about the English. My computer, uh, I, I am enthusiastic about the computer. So if I wasn't, uh, you know, uh, I wasn't uh, knowing a particular topic, I would quickly study and I immediately grasp, uh, grab the concept. So again, it was also not uh, the case. The logical, I, with your tricks and my uh, abstract knowledge, it, it was not so difficult. My biggest problem was maths. In fact, a couple of uh, months uh, doing MCA preparation, I was thinking of, uh, you know, I, I was not difficult. Uh, I was not good in maths. Um, let's not do maths. Just focus on logic, English, and computer. And that was my biggest mistake. Again, in these uh, three, I was good. But maths was my scoring su subject. I... Uh, I realized it after your, uh, I think two or three videos. I I sit with you, uh, sit in your recorded lecture. Whenever I saw a simple, uh, simple trick to solve math questions, also then I understand how math scoring the math was, and it it, it was an uh, impactful subject uh, for my MCA. Okay, okay. And how many mock tests you had appeared? Uh, I have completed all the mock tests, topic wise tests and section wise tests on manual portal. On top of that, uh, I have taken a few, um, what we can say, a few external mock tests, right? O only a mock test. So I think it's banking related for logical, uh, yeah, for logical, logic and English. But again, I, I do not recommend it. Uh, a manual portal has everything we need uh, and it should be sufficient. Uh, in fact, I didn't solve most of the mock tests from uh, the external package. Only, I think, five or six. That's it. Okay. What was your three learning from the mock test? Uh, yes, sir. What was your three learning from the mock test? A very important one, time management. Okay. I uh, I see uh, students uh, means uh, not solving the mock test or only solving few mock tests at the last. But I, I do not recommend it because... I learned time, so much of time management in mock tests. I get to know my weaknesses, my strengths, what topics to focus on and what topics to uh, just leave it. I, I don't know that. Even, even if I know the concept, if I think about it, I will get confused. I, I, I have that topic also, especially in maths, um, uh, such as it's complex part of geometry and uh, etc. those topics. So mm -hmm. in mock test, I find this while uh, means uh, having the time barrier, it puts the pressure on student. And uh, means especially for me, I get to know uh, my weak points, uh, my strengths and everything in mock test while giving mock test. Okay, okay. So when you appear for the actual examination or you, I mean, share me your exam day uh, experience. Okay, uh, as I told, the last two days was uh, went through uh, me going to the doctor, tablets and everything, uh, medicines. Uh, I 
at the time of the at the day of the exam i get up i, I was in thane my center was in belapur um, bharti vidyapeet i uh, i got up and you know done uh, done breakfast and everything and went uh, at that time i i i was not having a fever so i went and you know what uh, um uh, this was a good day means fever may not come and uh, you know i started studying uh, from mobile by going to the center uh, again I, i completed all the processes or uh, signing and everything uh, i wasn't having a headache or everything nothing so i was purely focused on my study and uh, my preparation uh, last 5 to 10 minutes i uh, uh, means i kept my mobile and just sit there with a blank canvas uh, i was not um, you know imagining everything or thinking every uh, anything uh, but in the exam hall uh, due to the what we can say ac right air conditioning uh, i i by solving the paper i immediately got fever and it was a high fever so i wasn't even thinking straight while uh, you know solving uh, examples and everything but only thing i have kept in mind was uh, i have studied i i was waited uh, this moment for last uh, you know say five to six months i shouldn't uh, means leave it uh, i i solved any questions and how i can be in that moment and that's it i didn't think that much about it or um, what we can say um, i didn't uh, think of that okay okay so last question i mean your journey is very interesting and very <laughs> you know painful a bit you know and you have managed to cope up that is about a good thing and that is what every aspirant do because challenges will challenges will come in life also and this was the exam so this is what we are learning how to handle the challenges okay so last question what tips or the suggestion you want to give to upcoming year aspirant for the year 24 25 26 those who are targeting for start early uh, uh follow what your t- what dev sir uh, teaches in uh, classes <laughs> again uh, students like me i i get easily confused right i i do not set my foot on one stone i i if somebody said something i quickly you know oh that i i can go that way so fix your uh, fix your pattern of study fix your strategy focus on that and again stay healthy uh, that's the number one so you know uh, i can give you uh, and that's it uh, follow one strategy and do mock test okay so guys lots of thing you have learned in, uh, from this podcast and uh, redis have shared his experience from how he has worked how he has managed his nccet preparation what are the you know how he has appeared for the mock exam day experience so i hope such kind of a podcast will help you and to motivate you people to prepare well for the cet and crack cet with the good percentile and end up with the top colleges which is in mumbai pune or in maharashtra so uh, yes. i have one more point sir Yes. Uh, it's just a courtesy speech uh, in this time my office has helped me uh, a lot i want to give a shout out to krishna sir and pavitra ma'am because because of that uh, i can easily manage my time they have uh, given me freedom to do flexible study and flexible work so again i i want to shout out to them and my family and my friends uh, again that's it and of course sir the, the last but not the least manual education for uh, guiding me through this and uh, because of all you uh, i have achieved this much marks uh, thank, you, thank, thank you. you i uh, whenever i see uh, i saw the topos podcast and i uh, thought to myself oh maybe it will be nice if i i will come to this one day and, and you have made it and you have made it <laughs> thank you sir uh, again <laughs> that's it uh, thank you thank okay. you very much and congratulations for your score and all the best for your career okay. thank you sir. yeah bye bye take care yeah.